Our project is called the Congruence Engine, Digital Tools for New Collections-Based Industrial Histories. Each of us PIs has been asked to speak about what we're aiming to achieve in our project. The simplest answer is that Congruence Engine addresses the core objective of TANK, of modelling what it will be like when it's possible for people to work across the nation's collections rather than organisation by organisation as at present. At the heart of the project is a syst systemic action research participatory methodology that brings together researchers of several kinds, digital, historical and curatorial, and both professional and amateur. In this, we will implement established and novel digital techniques to link collections data. We aim to use, modify and develop a series of off-the-peg and bespoke digital humanities techniques. We hope to generalise the successful experiment of the Science Museum's Heritage Connector Foundation project that uses techniques including natural language processing, named entity extraction and named entity linking to link Science Museum Group and V&A collections and other data out to Wikidata and to other open data sources. This project has shown that these techniques can yield results even where the data are thin and inconsistent which is a very widespread problem, certainly across museums. Congruence Engine takes industrial history as its subject, with three successive nine-month-long investigations of key industrial sectors – textiles, energy and communications. These were chosen so as to cover the ground of the industrial period, but there is nothing encyclopedic in our intent. To some extent, these are a convenience, providing commonsensical categories for people to engage with. There is a core of investigators and researchers funded by the project, with several circles of participants beyond the core team who can get involved in various ways. This latter group includes 15 project partners who have, who have offered to make their data available to the project. Amongst these, to take one example is the Salt Air History Club. They would like to link the data about their collection and the history of Salt's Mill to other collections in textile history and mechanical engineering to pursue a specific line of historical research, placing their collection in that broader context. And this is emblematic of our approach. Across Congruence Engine, people will be conducting the many research projects that they want to do and which the project can support. All of these mini-projects will be exploring what will become possible when you link collections. At any one time, we currently think that there will be five such mini-inquiries underway, that is, one per postdoc in the project. The postdocs will walk alongside these investigations, supporting them and simultaneously monitoring and recording the ease or difficulty and the success of the different digital techniques that will be selectively introduced over the project's 27 months of live investigation. The investigations and feedback will be iterative so that Congruence Engine's research community will develop a shared sense of what is currently possible with the digital tools available now and with those under development. All of that to realise Tank's ambitions. One of our tasks at the moment is to put flesh on the bones of the case for support, making plans for the detail of how the project is going to work. We've come to realise even more strongly than at the time of the application that a key concern must be with creating genuine dialogue between the digital and the humanities as they are enacted in the heritage space. It's a very exciting prospect, and here I'd just like briefly to speculate on what it might mean for four different kinds of users. First, for community-based historians who pursue history for fun, it will become possible to know what wealth lies in the nation's collections, and to be able to use those collections to make their own histories and to link to their own collections. Second, for the historical disciplines, we see the opportunity for accounts enriched by access to very extensive reserve collections in material and visual culture that have previously mainly been the province of curators. Here is the opportunity for new kinds of intermedial history. Third, for those museum curators, there will be the opportunity readily to see their collections in the context of the entire na national collection 
easing the business of creating exhibitions and bringing neglected items into the light of public display. And for the general, museum visiting public, there will be new objects, new stories and new ways of understanding their presence in relation to our shared pasts. I believe that heritage is about to have a heritage humanity is about to have a digital humanities moment, but to be re fully fruitful, that will have to be willed. The tank project provides the ground on which we can safely experiment with what it will be like. Thank you.